Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a basic page layout with Adobe InDesign. As a desktop publishing program, Adobe InDesign is primarily used for page layouts. Therefore, in this tutorial, we will go through the basics of setting up a simple page layout that will then allow you to develop your own layouts afterwards. So, in InDesign menu here, hit New Documents, create one, and you'll be presented with this new document window. In Page Size, select A4, set the number of columns to 4, and change the gutter to 4 millimeters. Adjust the margins to 10 millimeters and hit OK. This will then generate a page here with four columns already there for us as a grid. Next, select the rectangle tool in the sidebar here and drag and draw out a simple square. This will be our space to place an image and you can do that by going place which is found in the file menu at the top and you can select from here if you have any images you know what you want to place in from here I pick this image there we go If we use this direct selection tool, we can move the image there. Now the next step is to create the body text frame. So select the rectangle frame tool here and click anywhere onto canvas. For the width, enter in 44.5 millimeters, and for the height, put 245, and hit OK. We need to generate a second one of these, so just hit anywhere again and hit OK. And we need to create two smaller ones to fit in this section here. So click anywhere on canvas, but now set the height to 179.5 millimeters. Hit OK. Click onto canvas again to generate a second one, and there you go. Now, with the selection tool, which is found here, move these rectangles into place. This one aligns at the bottom here. We have a little bit of the overlap on the picture here, so we'll need to adjust this up. There we go. And these need to be placed along the bottom. And we'll have a little bit of space here, which now we will use to create a title. So select the type tool here, or press T, and drag out a rectangle at the top corner here. This will be used for our title. I want this right at the top here, so I'll select the selection tool and drag this up a little bit, make this a little bit bigger. And then go back onto the type tool, click inside, and type title. And adjust this to a much larger size using this top panel here. 36, we can go a bit bigger, 48, set it to something nice and bold, maybe make it a bit larger. This is where your title can be placed. Now to have the text flowing through all of the columns, we need to select back into the type tool and to click into all of these rectangle frames to change them into text boxes. Now that these have all been done, you just select back onto the first one with the selection tool. And you'll see that here there's a little box. 
we click onto this here, you'll see the cursor will change to this icon here. Click into the next column here, and then go and repeat the process again. Click on this square here, click into there, and then click onto there again, and click into this. What this will do is this will link up all four columns so that when text is overflowing in one column, it will simply go onto the next one it's been linked to. Now, to see the text flow in action, first select back onto the um, selection tool, hit the first column, then go type on the top menu here and select this option here called fill with placeholder text. As you see, each column will be now filled up with Lorem Ipsum placeholder dummy text, which will flow through each column. Now, Lorem Ipsum, which is typically scrambled Latin text from a selection of De Finibus uh, Bonorum et Malorum, excuse my Latin there, is used to demonstrate how the page would look if it was filled with content. This can be useful for, for producing mock-up pages or coming up with page layout ideas before you have any content supplied. So now you've learned how to do this basic page layout, we suggest you play around with the features presented in this tutorial and try to come up with your own page layouts. Thank you for watching.